it was a small one. They only had 14 children. <laughs> but uh, what a wonderful start and a great step to our history. I think over the years, they and uh, certainly the Richters are the two preeminent historical families in our valley. And as I look around today, there are a number of direct descendants of uh, this fine lady who's commemorated in the mural. One lady, and I want to be sure to get it right, that we're very pleased and a very special Princeton welcome to you, Susan McGregor. She is a granddaughter. because she really was a neat 
the old gal. She was extremely intelligent. She was very authoritarian. She lived to be 91. She never forgot a thing. Um, <laughs> she, she had 65 grandchildren. Oh, she had my grandmother. Oh my, um, my mother was the 14th child, and I'm my mother's eighth. Um, but I'm not the end of the grandchildren by any means. They're still one to three, four. But I think maybe still six of us alive. Um, <laughs> if any of you are here, tell me. <laughs> I, I think there's three of them that live up at Ocean Falls or something. And Calgary. Cal oh, yes, one in Calgary and one over in the Sunshine Coast. And I don't know about the white rock or something. Anyway, there's still a few of us kicking around. But I was the one that had the privilege of living with Grandma. And she made a tremendous, a tremendous impact on us. Um, one thing that she certainly taught us was anything a man can do, a woman can do better. <laughs> <laughs> so so and I, do, I really would be remiss if I didn't honor Lori for all the hard work she does and she keeps the family together. We all know who each other is and where we are because Lori does it for us. So thank you, Lori, and thank you, Sandy, for driving. Well, Frank cleans up. You smile. <laughs>